day lords and ladies and welcome back to wild hearts okay so let's have a quick chat about what all has been accomplished since uh we got to akakura canyon if we take a quick peek down at the karakuri tree here you'll see that we are moving it down uh we got the smoker we got our food shrine our speed up and the celestial sugumo the Celestial Tsukumo Camp, very important. This is something I was working, I was pushing towards pretty hard. I actually think I want this. Um, so we have been moving downwards. We just unlocked the Vermilion uh, Fermenting Cask and Pickling Jar. I did not quite make it to where I want to be, where this is... This was the goal for my uh, grinding time, but I did not quite get there. But also, you guys were not out of low rank, and this is the bottom of the tree. So, to say I have unreasonable expectations of myself is a little bit ridiculous. But, on that note, I will take you guys and say that I did make a compromise with myself that is... Maybe not entire. That's not entirely unreasonable that I could get to that Vermilion Smoker before we face Hellbird, but I did want to put a Celestial Sukumo camp here. This is going to be incredibly important later, and in order to do that and still process out uh, food as I have been uh, grinding kimono orbs and what have you. I did ask Bob to place two Vermilion Smokers here to free up the plant energy for that Karakuri Shrine, because we are going to want that. If we go down here, you can see I have a small encampment of food processing happening here, along with uh, Haragasumiwe and Natsukadachi Isle. I have four food shrines on Akikara Canyon, and resultantly, I have been, as I said, working my butt off. This is what we have for food at this juncture. Again, I say, like, this is... I have played the campaign once before, you guys. I have tried and true recipes and a very set goal for what food I want, when and why, based on which kimono bullied me my first time through the campaign. So we'll talk. This is my super combo. This is uh, dried rice mixed with miso paste and then smoked and this is dried and smoked gem rice this is what i've been using against the deeply volatiles because this much extra health just means you can kind of negate the one shots that they tend to have like a, a deeply volatile doggo has a particular way of just killing you if he decides to kill you which was when it became obvious to me that maybe what i really wanted was to survive with five health and not risk the run then these the uh soy fish and soy veggies are my intermediate foods these are the kind of things that i eat when i don't need to take things too seriously but are still going to give definite and noticeable benefits so for instance we'll take two of these and then this is where this comes in. I told you the smoked pickled fish is a really good filler. So we're going to do that. And that's going to be kind of our intermediate meal for all the side quests that we're about to do. So because I like to keep things on the up and up with you guys, I did want to take ownership of the fact that I asked Bob for a couple of facilities here so that I could put that Celestial Sukumo camp down because we are going to want it. It is going to be of incredible importance soon but for now uh we don't need to worry about that we need to worry about the fact that we have a metric ton of side quests that are piling up over here on which note uh, let's check the seashore camp we'll head out to natsukodachi isle and just get started on these side quests
Oh, yes, and one other thing. Uh, during my grinding to upgrade the uh, dragon pits. Um, I totally lost that thought when that's when I started talking. So, yeah, these are the ingredients shrines that I was telling you we were working towards last time that are just going to reduce the amount of, you know, time that I have to spend gathering things. And, we, of course, we have our fish boats. Looks like we're here for a lava back. If I hop up here to the uh, Sylvan camp, you will see that basically I don't think I've made changes. Except to place the Karakuri Thread Shrine here, too. Which I'll actually show you exactly what that does. That just is going to give me 48 Thread to start the encounter. Which is very powerful. It's on about a 15 minute recharge, I think. Give or take. And if you guys don't mind, I will take a, I will take a quick second to just hang some veggies and stuff. Oh, I didn't show you. I actually, uh, to speed things along, I also took some of my uh, pickle materials from my uh, main save and uh, imported them here. I handed them off to Bob to bring to me here. You'll recognize it as the uh, State of K2 strategy. Oh, I need that. That goes too hard to see me why. Uh, this stays here. Do I have anything? I don't have anything going in there. But I don't think I need the fish paste right now. I have an excess of fish, but I have plenty of fish paste. Yeah, the pickled fish are done though, so. And this is something you guys are going to want to just get in the rhythm of doing as you are starting to advance down the uh, processed food train. When you come to one of your food processing camps, just take a second, set everything up, and just keep the train moving, as it were. Looks like those soy vegetables will be done any minute, but we can get them on the next pass through here because, uh, like I said, we've got four things to do here in Natsukodachi Isle. Say hello to the cute, everyone. Basically the only thing that has been spared on my path of slaughter as I have been upgrading my dragon pits. We leave the spine glider alone. Okay. Optional side quest the first. Go. And jump out of range. I'll just let him roar. And now I'm going to show you guys. Yes, I did get off. That was just rude. So you guys can see what's going on with the, uh... With the repeating crossbow is just going to... It has a really high chance to stun the monster. You can see how he flinched with the crossbow there. On. But that is what we were going for there, was, uh, we placed that to get the stun. I really like it when they have bad depth perception. Okay. 
is directing me this way? Is he going to Lava Back 1? Find out. Sure looks like he's going to Lava Back 1. Yeah, so, uh, the Repeating Crossbow is the second of the Fusion Karakuri that we do use a lot in combat. Because it just does have a really high chance to stun the kimono. And that is very helpful. I was really hoping to glide away from that. I was not close to that, just for the record. my first card, I think. If I was no, I must have been on fire. I must have been on fire and didn't realize it. Whoops. Helpful pop-up wants me to know about elemental weakness, and uh, I'll tell you guys that uh, Lava Back is particularly weak to poison. Yes, I, I'm, I'm aware, game. Thanks for the heads up, though. Well, with a little egg on my face, we'll just get right back into it, and I'll start taking things, like, the slightest bit more seriously. I must have been on fire and just not realized it. I think we'll maybe try to get an overcharge off of him. Really? Is that not fully broken? Damn it. I find Lava Back to be particularly annoying to uh, get the Hunter's Arm on. But as you can see, even with uh, me trying to get more thread to do more crossbows, the crossbow already has him on the run, so...
Yeah, must have been on fire and not realized it. Just sad because I need those kimono orbs. And by need, I mean I totally don't need them, but. Okay, so we're not even going to head back to Minato straight away. We're just going to go back to base camp and load up our next side quest here. these I'm gonna need to do more more of the pickled fish I'm kind of behind on as I said I, I weep for the kimono orbs from that uh, lava back because those would certainly be helpful uh, to get the smoker speed up that I definitely am not supposed to have right now oh this is for a spine glider oh. Oh, well, that makes me sad. I have been led to believe that for a hunter of your skill, this camel will be easy. As I said, if you could deliver the materials directly to Suzuran Sensei. Like I said, always, always, always keep the processing moot. No, not that one. Boiled by the hitbox again. Always, always, always keep the processing plant moving along. Very important. Okay. Oh, this is done too. Okay. I'll just edit this out, honestly, or speed it up. Like, I feel it's important for you guys to see this and understand the processing process that is going on to create this food, but also, like, being so OCD about having high-quality snacks is only going to slow things down. Game helpfully suggests that I call in assistance for Spine Glider. Game, I will let you know when I need help. How about that? <sighs> the number of times we have to hunt a spine glider in this campaign are really unacceptable. I thought I bopped him.
What is it? Spine Glider is actually not one of my stronger fights, just because I, I generally refuse to fight Spine Glider. Okay. I like it when physics isn't real. Probably gonna need to try for that hunter's arm against him. Yeah, I'm gonna need to try for that hunter's arm against him. Which, you know, good luck with the physics of this creature. As somebody who goes out of their way to avoid fighting Spine Glider, Spine Glider is not one of my stronger fights. Now, oh, as I see, that Echo was actually helping me out all along, and I was just being blind and oblivious. Yeah, now they exist, but when I went back to Chapter 2 in uh, my main save when cicadas became important, yeah, no, nowhere to be found. Oh, I dodged for as long as I could dodge. Okay guys, so as a note, uh, just because now, now we're getting into the meat of kind of the fusion car curry shenanigans, uh, I will point out that this is very important to your success with fusion car curry is uh, whether or not is knowing- well, I'm gonna get bopped by that. is um, whether or not you're standing still. For best results with the Fusion Karakuri, you need to be at a complete standstill in order to make it work. If you are moving basically at all, it is probably not going to, have, you're probably not going to have any luck. The car, basic Karakuri will just get scattered randomly. This admittedly still happens to me to this day when I'm in a rush to get a Fusion out for whatever reason. But just as a note for your success, uh, you do want to ideally be at a complete stop with the uh, placement box facing forward. Or who knows what will happen. So I need to remind myself what my current uh, Guild of Fishermen jobs are. I don't remember.
accidentally turned off my lock on. Why? Why? Inquiring minds would love to know why. Ugh. And soft-hearted people would just like it to be over. I could have sworn I broke his tail. Oh, there it is. over with. I'm sorry, little guy. I hate missions for, for the gliders. I, I hate them. Just hurts my heart. Random piece of bob litter. It's f fun for everybody. Uh, now. Now, looks like we're being taken back to Minato by force for this one. But now that Bob's been helping in my game, you just find random pieces of bob litter scattered throughout the world. I give him endless shit for his umbrella shenanigans, leaving just random fucking springs everywhere. Wonderful. And not a moment too soon. Oh, but I don't remember asking you to fetch them. Ichi? Mm, that's strange. I've mentioned it to very few people. I wonder how he heard. Well, no matter. I assume he kept his reasons to himself, so there's no point asking him. The truth is, there are some kimono characteristics that I'm trying to research, but observation alone is proving insufficient. I did suggest that town funds be diverted to purchase the materials I need for experiments. But the elders refused! I've been racking my brain trying to come up with alternatives. But what you've just supplied is precisely what I need! I can't tell you how grateful I am. Please do let Ichi know how much I appreciate this. Just think of the knowledge we could glean from the experiments I have in mind. <laughs> I understand you've delivered the items. Arigatou gozaimasu. I wonder, did Suzuran sensei look somewhat confused? It wasn't something she was expecting. No. Oh, I thought perhaps she might. No. Oh, I feel perhaps I should explain. I was instructed to do this by Hime-sama, you see. Clearly, she had become aware of the sensei's predicament somehow. Your fee will come directly from Hime-sama's purse, though she has very few discretional funds. She is constantly considering ways in which she might aid Minato, you see. But not publicly. The Ago clan will be displeased if I fail to act with discretion. And the elders do not appreciate guidance from one they regard as a little girl. She often expresses such concerns. It pains me to know that her good heart goes unseen. At the very least, I feel you should know. Though in telling you, 
I have broken my promise to Himesama. I hope she would forgive me. But in any case, please do keep this to yourself. Okay. We can actually turn in some of our hunting successes. I am quite certain that Seren this is uh, the result of the uh, preparation in Akakura Canyon. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much the uh, work that was done in the uh, Akakura Canyon to get all of my dragon pits up and running. And then we can turn this in. You sit inside and her carpenters manage to tune the hearth for me. You can expect some really first rate forging now. Oh, the lava back materials I wanted. I can't wait to get started on these. If you'll excuse me. Oi, Natsume. Are the repairs done? Oh. She's not here. Ah, uh, let me guess. Fiddling with Karakuri again? Once she dives into that sort of work, she doesn't surface again for ages. She's always been hooked on Karakuri. <laughs> I suppose she got it from her father. Not really. I mean, I don't remember him well. He died a long time ago. But he was unrivaled as a blacksmith here in Minato. Especially talented at fitting weapons with Karakuri from what I hear. His inventions were sought after by all the hunters back then. His wife, Natsume's mother, passed away very young. So I think the forge was his whole life and Natsume was brought up completely surrounded by Karakuri. But one day, every Karakuri, from the biggest to the smallest, just stopped working. Just like that. It must have been devastating. That's why you're so special to Natsume. Without you, the town's Karakuri would still be dead. Oh, that was quick for you. I'm sorry, I completely forgot to give you this. I promised you something in return, remember? I think my ideas are gonna come to something thanks to the materials you got me. But not without a lot of hard work, so if you'll excuse me. Hey, wait! Natsume! Uh, I've lost her again now. I can forget about those repairs then. Oh well. Okay, so on that note, uh, actually, let's uh, go on ahead and eat again. And uh, head out on our quest here. For a pair of grit dogs. Because everybody likes fighting grit dogs. To be honest, he's not that bad once you've just gotten to know him a little bit. But when I was just getting to know this critter, uh, he was averaging about two carts a fight against Bob and I. It was not fantastic. Let's put it that way. Not fantastic. You know, I, I totally didn't actually turn these on. Okay, so I need one more here. I need materials at the Harvest Canyon and more timber. Okay. So there should be a grit dog on the beach. Uh, this is just a small little life hack for you guys. Uh, there is a metric ton of lumber on this beach. If you happen to have Lumber Collection for uh, the Guild of Fishermen cards, a jog down this beach is pretty good. 
I have to turn these in after this and uh, pick up some new ones. That's also been something just in the background, you guys, that has been going on is processing out the Guild of Fishermen cards. There is a bunch of lumber in this arena with our first grit dog. We are just gonna really creepy, sneaky, quiet, like, just run through a nab. Before we engage with that jackass. Okay, that's 15 timber materials gathered. Fifteen materials gathered, that's all we needed for the quest, so... That was a fantastic stun by Echo. Good job, Echo. Crabs, don't think I don't have time for you. I have time for this. Now, always, and forever, I have time for this. I'm telling you, you guys, small monsters in this game are a fucking plague. I will say that over and over and over again, and I will die on that hill. If you are a charging weapon, small monsters in this game are the worst. I find the crabs to be among the most egregious offenders. I did get that carve. Want to get out of the range of his magnetic pole there.
Yeah, his magnetic pole is probably the most annoying part about him. It's actually, I think that if I was quantifying what it is about Gridog that I don't like, it's that my weapon relies very heavily on the idea that I am controlling what range I'm engaging from. Because there's a very specific window of damage that I need to maintain in order to be successful. And Rick Dog can push, pull, and interfere. Uh, ironically, this, this is going to come up a lot more a little later, but he has the ability to interfere with my range, which I don't tend to love. Okay. The other jackass is all the way over there, huh? Okay. In the valley, then. Although we've definitively passed the point where the small welcome crystals mean literally anything. But details. Exactly as intended. This will be the out of his range, so. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you didn't like that one bit, huh? Sworn there was a, yeah, red tree. on here. Uh, just a point of fact, because I realized that uh, this was done off camera. Uh, the glider combination, or not glider, the, the uh, repeating crossbow combination is glider stick glider. 
Now, like I said, I picked that up uh, off camera while I was just farming Akakura Canyon with Bob because Fumebeak is one of the natives and Fumebeak is one of the two monsters that can teach that to you. And someday my brain will catch up and like escape my monster hunter background and start calling them kimono as is proper, but today is not that day. I'm doing my damnedest and it's probably bugging me more than it is any of you, but... It's such a competent entry into the monster hunting genre that I just default to monster hunter things and... I'm excited there's more crabs in this arena. Nothing annoying has ever happened with crabs in the arena. Although it admittedly helps that the Great Dog had like 2 HP left. Okie dokie. Which leaves just one more quest here to do on Natsupadachi Isle, and then I think we're cleared completely to head about our business with uh, the main story. Which will be exciting. God knows I've put like as much time into farming to get ready for when things get tough as I have actually playing the game for you guys. I'm completely undecided about whether or not to actually include the process of uh, preparing food for you guys. Because one of the things that I noticed a lot when I was doing the campaign is that there was basically no coverage of food prep. And it took a good long while for there to even be competent recipes put out. So perhaps I shall ask you guys what you think. if you care to see, you know, the food preparation process and all of that good stuff. What I really need is more soy veggies. We can probably duck down to the seashore camp and collect from the food shrines too. Is going, and I think the order is probably pickled fish. Need to start smoking more of those, too. Unfortunately, we've, we've not gotten to the smoker speed up yet, so. And I think we're still a good ways out from that, if I recall correctly. If we zip all the all the way down here. Yeah, the smoker speed up is right here. And you can see the at this point the awakening conditions are pretty pricey. Uh but that is what immediately what we are going to be spending on since I went on ahead and kind of cheesed getting the vermilion smokers that are ca cost fire energy and not plant energy so that I could have that shrine for a certain specific encounter with a certain specific bitch later. Uh, I think we are going to be coming straight down here to get the speed up for the smoker. That's going to just help me when I'm doing my off-camera nonsense. We're going to want to uh, duck and get the uh, power boost for this eventually too, but in the immediate now, uh, these are our next two upgrades. And like I said, we have not even cleared low rank, you guys, and this is where I'm at. Because I come from Monster Hunter as a dedicated healer. I know how to grind these games like no one's business. So it is not difficult for me to put in an unreasonable amount of time. Yeah, we definitely need to get the uh, 
soy fish going in the smokers. Or, or not past soy, pickled fish in the smokers. Like, I'm gonna be running out of those. Um, we to go to the main map. So we've got one last thing to clean up here. Surprised the pedal scoops aren't gone yet. So we are on our way to meet up with Nobumitsu here for our last side quest before we can move the story forward in earnest. I said a lot of what I'm going to be doing now is just food processing stuff. And just stocking up on the mid-tier snacks because, honestly, I, I don't need my like super deeply volatile food combo for more than like four encounters in the campaign where... I really mean business for one reason or another. So the mid-tier snacks like the soy fish and veggies that I was showing you and the pickled fish are going to be of particular importance. Oh, you came. I'm just about done with the fishing. Mother of pearl. That's a big kimono. Can you handle that thing? I'll get everyone clear. Yep. You got it, buddy. Are you seriously running from just the crossbow? And I, like... You guys, it's retreating because I, like, had the audacity to put out a crossbow. <laughs> How dare I use Karakuri. That's a, but that is a good demonstration of uh, pretty precisely what my point is uh, when I say that the repeating crossbow is secretly really good. And you should not sleep on it. This is a, a good demonstration of what I'm talking about, where I was kind of waiting to give you guys, like, the full scoop on the fusion car curry until it, What is this grit dog doing? Am I a joke to you, sir? What? What, what are we doing here? out in the face. crossbow from earlier is still there and firing on the crit dog. <laughs> but uh, fusion car curry do break down over time, so I'm not worried. Like, the basic car curry, you should break down because it is hypothesized that random 
basic Karakuri litter is part of the reason for some of the lag that people have experienced on the maps. Um, so you do want to break down the boxes and springs and stuff as quickly as you can. But, speaking of breaking down the boxes and the springs, I don't need this here anymore. It's been here too long. Come to a complete stop to place your fusion car, Kari. Dale. Well, at least on this save file, I'm not going to have to come back at the end of the game for low rank red dog materials. Story to come. Time to get back to town before that thing attacks again. Before it attacks again? It's dead, Nobumitsu. It's very much dead. Oh, Nobu, Nobu! Thank the heavens! You really know how to put wrinkles on my brow. I'm sorry. Somehow, we upset a kimono that's normally no trouble. I've never known it to attack unless its territory is threatened. But no harm done. I'm fine, look. No one was in any danger, and no boats got damaged. Bakaro! Just because you got away with it this time, doesn't mean you weren't in danger. Just think what would happen to you if you weren't with the hunter. I was on tenterhooks here. Other boats were arriving with reports of fierce roars they'd heard when passing the northern lee of the island. The northern lee? No, the kimono we encountered was on the south side. But anyway, I am sorry I worried you so much. Just stop being so irresponsible. We owe it to your father to look out for you. If any harm came to you, I'd never forgive myself. <laughs> uh, sorry I got you mixed up in that. I wouldn't have made it back if it wasn't for you. What's your view, by the way? Would you describe me as irresponsible or dependable? I think you do your best, buddy. <laughs> you don't have to be polite. Uh, I'm not sure my best is good enough sometimes. The last head of the guild, my father, was truly a great fisherman. But he died at sea. It's a hereditary position, though. Always has been. So I'm trying to follow in my father's footsteps. But they're big shoes to fill. Sometimes I feel like I'm paddling with one oar. I try to be a good leader. But then I make Jingoro sound worry like that, for example. Yeah, I still got a lot to learn. But I'll get there. <sighs> anyway, sorry again for all the trouble. And many thanks. If that, and then up by the shop, we have the other one to turn in, but we'll see what Coco Kyo has in stock. The last war, which item has caught your eye? The Bob Bartering. Brain always good. I'll show you all the bartering box. Because you guys, my luck with gem rice is hilariously tragic. I have such a hard time getting to it. Like, I can make five laps in the rice fields and the silver grass plains and come away with, like, one piece. And Bob runs to the other once and gets, like, five. 
You're back from the hunt? What do you mean? Ah, yes, of course, of course. The kimono materials I asked you for. Aren't you helpful? <laughs> I didn't think I'd find myself asking hunters for materials again at my age, I must say. Years ago, of course, Minato was full of fine hunters. We had all the materials we could possibly want for. But the hunters dwindled bit by bit. And the materials soon became scarce. And that's how we lost most of our artists. It's all passed down from generation to generation here, you see? The knowledge. So if the parents go, that's it. <sighs> But what could we do? Those of us left in the guild were more than a bit fretful. I don't mind telling you. But then, young Yataro came. He's our promise for the future. Now, you've landed in our laps. <laughs> Maybe the spirits have taken pity on us. Anyway. You've been a great help, Hunter. Just remember to keep this under your hat, hmm? Yeah, I'll go show you guys. Uh, this, this is uh, Bob's uh, payment for helping me farm kimono orbs and get the map set up. Uh, he uses a lot of meat products. So when he comes in to help me out later today, uh, my end of the bargain is all of the meat trade. And you can also see this is, I got a little bit ahead of uh, my current stacks on uh, the soy fish. And I moved some of my grain over here so that I could process it out a little bit more quickly. So, meat is all going to Bob. I've got some extras of the soy fish from the grind. And this is my box of things that I'm waiting to smoke. Uh, the only thing in here that is not currently getting smoked are these, because I don't have access to the seasoning yet. But we'll have the access to the seasoning soon. And it was mostly just gathering dust in my, in my main save, because I've well moved past the point where these are useful to me. But it is uh, still keeping up with the demand for food is uh, a little bit dicey because I'm so far ahead of where the game actually intends for me to be in terms of food production. Also, we'll get our back nuts from our hedgehogs here. Got some little pet cages out. We've got hedgehogs for now. I'll show you guys the back nuts. Uh, dried smoked back nut is very useful if you just have uh, uh, kimono parts that you need. Its base is a 10 health boost and 2% destruction art. So if there's specific kimono parts you need, this is just very helpful to have just dried and smoked. need to start processing that out too. And then last up on the docket before I leave you for today's episode is to actually turn these um before my goldfish brain forgets again. Here's the list. And because I know my logo is in the way, this card is worth uh, 5,200 gold. Okay. New card. First thing we want to do is go to the bottom. This is... A, I'll show you guys this. That's a good one. I'm always buying from Coco Kyo. Always grabbing materials. Always grabbing materials. Hunting for Bob. Right. Bye okay, now. so here's how the basics work. I can ki I can hold 24 uh, thread right now, and you can see the box costs only one uh, thread to summon. So. We're basically going to just use up 
uh, our thread there, and then because I have this here early waiting for the fateful encounter with Hellbird, I can grab that. And just spam my way through all of my thread making boxes. Now we've conjured a basic car curry 50 times. We can immediately turn that in and grab something else. Hunting again today? You want to know what's still to do? Here's the list. Mm. That is pretty valuable. Uh, four kimono at Natsukodachi Isle. That's tempting. But hunt two kimono using a bow is a guarantee, and mighty armor is a guarantee. So I think we're actually going to take the two kimono with a bow because, of course, we're right. going to get that done. Bye for now. On which note, lords and ladies, that does tidy up our side quests. So next time we will be, as the game instructs, listening to all of the details from Ujishige about what he needs done. And we'll go on from there. So for now, thank you all so very much for joining me on cleaning up the side quests. And next time we push on with the plot.